I asked AI to predict Civ 7, its biggest changes and new features, and this is what it said. So ChatGPT can do your homework for you or it can write you a job application. Most impressively, it can actually generate a song about Sean Bean guiding us through the night. Civilization, we conquer the land with Sean Bean's voice. We make our stand from ancient times to futures bright. But can it pass the ultimate test of any intelligent being? Can it make better predictions for Civ 7 than a part-time YouTuber? Its first prediction was that Civ 7 will make big changes to diplomacy. It said that Civ 7 could have more complex alliance systems where multiple civilizations can form coalitions with shared goals or mutual defense pacts, and diplomacy may also be influenced more heavily by cultural and religious factors with unique diplomatic actions available to civilizations with shared or conflicting ideologies. So, is this a good prediction? Well, considering that diplomacy in Civ sometimes feels completely nonsensical and it lacks depth in my opinion, I have no doubt that diplomacy in Civ 7 will change a lot and an expansion to the Alliance system could be a big part of that. On the second point, even though I'd argue that culture already impacts relations between Civs as the AI is friendlier to you if you share government types, Taking this to a new level in Civ 7 certainly isn't a bad prediction. Not a bad start for AI, but I don't think it's displacing the part-time YouTuber just yet. Moving on, AI also predicted a more advanced AI in Civ 7. Hang on a minute, this is getting confusing and I'm getting sick of saying AI all the time. Saying it over and over again just sounds so stupid, so let's refer to the AI making predictions for this video as ChatGPT because that's what it is, and the AI in Civ 6 will just call AI because that's fine and works. So ChatGPT also predicted a more advanced AI in Civ 7. It predicted an opponent AI that learns from player strategies and adapts over time, offering a more challenging and dynamic experience alongside leaders with more distinct personalities that affect their decision making, alliances and interactions. Most of us really want the AI in Civ 7 to be so much more developed than it is in Civ 6. I literally did a whole video on this, so once again, yes, it's a good prediction, but it's nothing I couldn't have come up with myself. So what else did ChatGPT predict? Well, it thinks there will be improved city management with more customization and specialization of city districts, allowing players to tailor the cities to specific functions, such as science and culture, and that cities should naturally expand over time, with suburbs and outlying areas developing organically based on the city's needs and player decisions. After watching a lot on the upcoming 4x strategy game Aura History Untold recently, which I do appreciate is trying to achieve something quite different to Civ when it comes to how cities work and look in the game, it has made me really consider just how much more scale and life could be brought to cities in Civ 7. So the idea of naturally developing suburbs and outlying areas sounds great. More customization of districts is something I would love to see too. ChatGPT also predicted an extended tech tree with futuristic technologies and social policies reflecting advanced societies and their unique challenges. Now, there is something quite unnerving about an AI predicting the unique challenges of advanced societies. Maybe a more cynical person may say that this is a self-fulfilling prophecy. As cool as these ideas are, these are things that people regularly talk about in the comment sections of my videos. Yeah, a Beyond Earth style final era might not be a bad idea at all. It could be a good way of setting Civ 7 apart from its predecessor and taking very personal conflicts out of the confines of just one small planet. And the evil villain part of my brain adores that idea, but it's not that radical. We've already got everything covered that ChatGPT has predicted so far. So did ChatGPT actually predict anything that the part-time YouTuber hasn't thought of? That's still me by the way. Well, yes, it did. Its coolest prediction by far is that Civ 7 will have more detailed combat mechanics, including supply lines, morale and terrain advantages. Now, I guess this isn't that revolutionary of a prediction on the face of it, but I just never thought of it. I never thought of using supply lines and morale in a Civ game when, if implemented correctly, 
they could work nicely and add further depth to combat. ChatGPT also predicted expanded naval and aerial units with more strategic options and specialised capabilities. To try and put a little bit of meat on the bones here, this specialisation of units could mean customization options where we can choose to use additional resources to increase the number and size of guns on our battleships and the thickness of their armour, or maybe it could mean that we have the option to invest in further aviation development to increase the range of our bombers and the speed of our fighters. Well, I guess the channel can remain in human hands for now, but I was surprised by how realistic many of ChatGPT's predictions were. I'll definitely be returning to this when Civ 7 releases next year to see just how accurate they turn out to be. Anyway, I'm off to vibe to my new favourite tune, but if you want to see more of our Civ 7 content, why not check out the video on screen now? Thanks for watching today and I'll catch you soon.